Hey everyone, it's Motivation Monday and today's motivation is to do with racism. And you're like, what? On the Super Bowl, Coca-Cola had a commercial where they sang America is beautiful in different languages and it started up a Twitter firestorm where people were like, America is English to the extent where some people were thinking that it was their national anthem and they were like, our national anthem is being English. And others were like, America's language is English, but it actually isn't. Uh, America does not actually have an official language. As well, somebody else responded back to me saying that the song was written in English, when in fact it also wasn't written in English, the original song. Somebody responded back about it. Um, I said, you know, typical American answer. And they responded back by saying, shut up, chink. Um, took a screenshot, retweeted it, and uh, you know, she got some other feedback from it where uh, it eventually ended that um, thanks to Rachel a good friend uh, that girl actually apologized indirectly so that's the motivation is that whenever we see injustices happening or whenever we see discrimination happening we should be speaking up about it and not just sitting on the sidelines thinking that somebody else will take care of it you know, this isn't the first time that recently I've experienced racism on Twitter this happened a few months ago as well I remember coming to Canada uh, I had originally landed in Scarborough Toronto I didn't know English back then but uh, people were always like talking about me Chinese me no dumb I just kind of sang with them with it because I didn't understand English I didn't understand what it was because we only spoke Chinese and thank goodness um, I had to come over here to Edmonton and grew up here where I was one of four Chinese people in my elementary school it was a different atmosphere uh, there was no racism here racism did not exist in Edmonton contrary to the fact that most of my school was white I didn't really have any more experience until I went back to Toronto as a high schooler and I had opened the door for an old lady at Union Station and she was probably about half a train length away I held the door that long for the lady to go through she did not once look up at my face or say thank you or anything you know it might be a situational thing but the way that it happened I felt it was racism so that was my first real experience with racism was in a big city like that where there's more diversity which is very strange you know when you see that kind of stuff happen thanks to pastor Allen as well there's certain ways to deal with something like this the big thing is not to drag yourself down with it but just to stand behind that person or just point out hey it's wrong just apologize and don't do it again so I hope that motivates people to you know make a difference um, because just saying a little thing or mentioning something as an outsider to somebody really points out the fact that hey it's not acceptable and maybe you should rethink what you've been doing you know I don't blame that girl for what she said or the other guy for what he said the guy actually removed the tweet and then the girl of course apologized and it's just the way that people grow up and it's not their fault it's just the culture they grow up in and it's our job to educate people because in the school process especially in junior high and senior high there's only three years to educate people in those growing years of education and we need to be able to do that so that's the motivation takeaway for today thanks for watching